In this video, I'm going to go through some examples of integration by substitution with trigonometry involved. So let's have a look at number one. We've got cosine of x uh, times sine to the 6x dx. So you want to make your substitution uh, the part that is being the problem, and that is the sine of x. So we're going to have u equals sine of x. So du by dx, the first step to differentiate, we get cos x. And then we want to rearrange that to get dx. Okay, So rearranging, multiplying up by the dx, dividing both sides by the cosine x. So we're going to get 1 over cosine x du. So our integral becomes, we've got the cosine of x. The sine of x is u, so u to the 6. And the dx is replaced by the 1 over cosine of x du. So the cosine of x cancel, top and bottom, leaving us with the integral of u to the 6 du. Then you can add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, add the constant of integration, and then we can put our substitution back in, which was sine x. So 1 seventh sine to the 7x plus c. And that is our answer for number 1. Okay? Right, so number two, we've got the integral of sine of x times cosine to the 8x dx. So the u this time will be the cosine of x, that's what's causing the problem. And we differentiate that to get the minus sine x, and then we rearrange this to get dx, and so multiplying up by the dx, dividing both sides by minus sine x, we're going to get minus 1 over sine x du. So our integral, the integral of sine x times cosine 8x, so u to the 8. And the dx is replaced with the minus 1 over sine x du. The sine x can cancel, top and bottom, much like they did in the first question leaving us with the minus, I can bring the minus out of the integral if I want to, u to the 8 du, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, so minus 1 ninth, u to the 9, add a constant of integration, c. Then I can put my substitution back in. So we've got minus 1 ninth cosine to the 9x plus c. Okay, and that's my answer to number 2. Okay, so number three, we've got cosine of 3x times sine to the 5 3x dx. So the u this time will be the sine of 3x. Now we're going to differentiate that to get 3 cosine 3x. We then rearrange that to get dx, so 1 over 3 cosine 3x du. So now our integral becomes, well, we've got the cosine of 3x. Then we've got u to the power of 5. The dx is replaced with this, so times 1 over 3 cosine 3x du. So you can see a cosine 3x cancels top and bottom. I can bring that third outside of the integral. That's fair game. And I'm going to have the integral of u to the 5 du. So that one third I've brought outside. I then want to add one to the power and divide by the new power. So one third times by one sixth u to the six plus c. And so we'll have one over 18, three lots of six, 18. I can replace the u back with the sine of three x. So sine to the six, three x plus your constant of integration c. Okay, and that is number three. Okay, so we've got our last one, number four. We've got this 5x sine of 3x squared times cosine of 3x squared to the power of minus 5. It looks absolutely horrific, but we're going to go through it in exactly the same way. It's this cosine of 3x squared that will be the u, the substitution. That's what's causing the most problems. So cosine 
of 3x squared. So when I differentiate that, the derivative of what's inside comes outside. So I'm going to have 9, uh, sorry, not 9, 6x. Okay, so 3x squared differentiates to 6x. The cosine differentiates to minus sine. So I'm going to have minus 6x sine of 3x squared. I then want to rearrange that. So um, multiplying up by the dx, dividing both sides by the minus 6x sine 3x squared. So minus 1 over 6x sine of 3x squared. And I've got du. So now I can go straight into the integral. So what have we got? We've got the 5x. We've got the sine 3x squared. Now, the cosine of 3x squared is the u, so we've got the u to the power of minus 5, and the dx is replaced with this, so times minus 1 over 6x sine of 3x squared du. Now, it doesn't look too pretty, okay, but the sine of 3x squared cancels top and bottom, as in all the other examples. We can also cancel an x top and bottom, so they're gone. And we've got this minus 5 over 6, which I can bring outside of the integral, leaving me with u to the minus 5 du inside. OK? Now, I just want to add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So we've got the minus 5 sixths. Now, adding 1 to minus 5 gets us to minus 4. So timesing by uh, minus 1 over 4, u to the minus 4 plus our constant of integration c. Okay, so adding 1 to the power gets us to minus 4, divide by minus 4. So we've got minus 5 sixths times minus a quarter, so that's going to get us to 5 uh, 20 fourths. And then I've got the u to the minus 4. Now the u was the cosine of 3x squared. to the minus 4, and I've got that constant of integration c. So this horrible looking thing integrates to this, OK? And that answers question number 4.